Good evening. evening. And welcome to St. Matthew's. A special welcome tonight to the family of Freddie, who comes to be baptised. We meet tonight to worship the Lord of heaven and earth, the God who is present everywhere, not just here in church, but in our homes as well. In Luke chapter 2, we read of how after the, the boy Jesus had been found in the temple talking to the religious leaders, he went down to Nazareth and was obedient to Joseph and Mary. And he grew in wisdom and stature and in favour with God and men. God's son grew up in a home and a family. We stand to sing our opening hymn with our face coverings in place, Lord of the Home, your only son. We confess our sins to God our Father. Let us pray. We pray together. Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, by what we have done and by what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness. And keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Will you please stand? O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth will proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. We praise the Lord in the words of Psalm 134. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands toward the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Please be seated. Our Bible reading tonight is Psalm 128, a song of ascents. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your sons will be like olive shoots round your table. Thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem, and may you live to see your children's children. Peace be on Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's pray. Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Speak to us now and show us your blessing, because you are good. Amen. So what does it mean to be blessed by God? What does it look like? In church circles, we can use words that sound great, but what do they actually mean uh, when we think about them? Uh, the first word in our psalm tonight is one of those words, blessed. So what do we mean by the word blessed? When we pray later on for Freddie that he would be blessed, what are we praying for? If I had been bold and asked you on the way in what blessed means, I wonder what you would have said. Perhaps you might have said something about the good things that God gives us, the way that God acts towards us. Perhaps you would have remembered that some versions use the word happy, where it says blessed in ours. Psalm 128 is about being blessed. In verse 1 and verse 4, we see that the blessed person is one who fears the Lord. And within that bracket is a picture of what blessing can look like. Then verses 5 to 6 are a prayer for blessing. So we have a, a picture of blessing and a prayer for blessing. So let's look first at the picture of blessing. Verse 1. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. The psalm is telling us that this blessing is conditional. It's for a certain group of people, those who fit the criteria, those who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. Now when it speaks there of fearing the Lord, it, it doesn't mean, you know, that phobia, that kind of fear. Uh, people who are afraid of spiders or snakes or something like that. But it means a proper reverence and respect for God, seeking to honour God. As a recent book on the subject has put it, at the fear of the Lord is an intensely delighted wondering at God, our Creator and Redeemer. 
To fear God is to walk in his ways, to do what God wants us to do. You can't have one without the other. The two sit together and they are the way of blessing. So what might this blessing look like? Well, in verses 2 and 3, we get a picture of the blessed life, a picture of domestic bliss. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your sons will be like olive shoots round your table. Do you see how it's all direct? It's speaking directly to you. Uh, about you and yours, you, your wife, your sons. Blessings abound in work and in family life. There are echoes here uh, of the blessings that God had promised to his people uh, before they entered the promised land. Moses had uh, gathered the people of Israel uh, in a big valley and there were two mountains, uh, one either side, Mount Ebal and Mount Gerizim. And the blessings and curses of the covenant were proclaimed, offering a choice of the two ways that the people could live. If they rejected God and ignored him, they would receive the curses of the covenant. But if they served God and obeyed him, then they would receive the blessing. And here in Psalm 128, echoing those words, their work is blessed as they eat the fruit of their labor. Their wife is pictured as a fruitful vine, uh, which in the Bible has connotations of fruitfulness, of joy, of beauty. And their sons are pictured as olive shoots, just starting to grow up, the promise of more to come. This domestic bliss is a picture of domestic blessing with the reminder of verse 4. Thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. From that picture of blessing, we move to the prayer for blessing, which is found in the rest of the psalm. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem and may you live to see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. The picture of blessing was threefold. At you, your wife, your children. And this prayer for blessing is also threefold but takes us beyond the immediate household setting. There is the prayer for blessing from Zion all the days of your life, as long as it may be. God being with you and prospering you. There is a prayer to see the prosperity of Jerusalem as the city is built up and blessed, that, that place that God had chosen for his name to dwell. And there is a prayer that you may see your children's children. Just think of that, blessings upon blessings, as you see the next generation bringing forth the next generation. And some of you have indeed lived long enough to see that already. The psalm concludes with a prayer, a final prayer, peace be upon Israel. And the, the prayer sums up the whole psalm as all our blessings are found within this prayer for peace. You see, while we are shown a picture of blessing in this psalm, it's not a picture that we all might recognize or fit into. Perhaps we're unable to eat the fruit of our labor through circumstances beyond our control. Or that domestic bliss is far from our experience for all sorts of reasons. Or despite our desire, children haven't come along. So if blessing is pictured in this way, 
are some people out of the picture. But the truth is that God's blessing is for all who fear him, all who walk in his ways. And God's blessing means that we are brought into the picture through the Lord Jesus. You see, Jesus is the one who supremely feared the Lord, who always perfectly walked in his ways, every step of the way, right up to the cross at Calvary. He gave his life in our place. We who so often have failed to fear the Lord, who so often walk away from his ways. Jesus is the one who brings us in and blesses us beyond our imagining. So that Ephesians chapter 1 can say, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Did you hear that? Every spiritual blessing is yours already in Christ. In Ephesians chapter 5, Paul teaches about husbands and wives and says that our marriages are a picture of the one true marriage, that of Christ and his bride, the church. You see, we are brought into his family, into his home, and we are blessed. And it's through Jesus that we have the blessing of peace. Peace with God because our, our sins are gone. And we are reconciled to him. But also peace with one another. This picture of blessing is for all who fear the Lord. Who rejoice in him as our creator and our redeemer. How blessed we may be with domestic bliss. But even more blessed in the father's family. So what does it mean? To be blessed. We glimpse a, a picture of it here with a prayer for blessing. Every spiritual blessing is ours in Christ Jesus as we trust in Him. So may we know the Lord's blessing tonight and every night. Amen. We're going to stand again and sing a, a metrical version of our psalm. How blessed are all who fear the Lord.
as I make my way down to the font, I encourage you to turn around and to face it. We welcome Freddy, who comes to be baptised. Parents, will you accept the responsibilities placed upon you in bringing Freddy for baptism and answer on his behalf? By your own prayers and example, by your teaching and love, will you encourage him in the life and faith of the Christian community? In baptism, this child begins his journey in faith. You speak for him today. Will you care for him and help him to take his place within the life and worship of Christ's church? In baptism, God calls us from darkness to his marvellous light. of evil. I I them. Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbour? I, I repent of them. Do you turn to Christ as Saviour? I turn to Christ. Do you submit to Christ as Lord? <coughs> I, I submit to Christ. Christ. Do you come to Christ the way, the truth and the light? I, I come, come to Christ. Christ. And so to the congregation I say, you have heard these our brothers and sisters respond to Christ. Will you support them in this calling? We will support them. Praise God who made heaven and earth, who keeps Jesus his promise forever. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right to give our thanks and, and praise. We thank the Almighty God for the Brother. gift of water to sustain, refresh, and cleanse all life. Over water, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of Brother. creation. Through water you led the children of Israel from slavery in Egypt to freedom in the promised land. In water your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us from the death of sin to newness of life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. By it we share in his resurrection. Through it we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we baptise into his fellowship those who come to him in faith. We sanctify this water that by the power of the Holy Spirit he may be cleansed from sin and born again. Renewed in your image, may he walk by the light of faith and continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, now and forever. Amen. Friends, do you believe and accept the Christian faith into which Freddie is to be baptised? I do. I invite you to share with them as we declare our faith together. <clears throat> do you believe and trust in God the Father? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe and trust in God the Son? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We do want to baptize the, the iPhone. <laughs> Freddy, Samuel, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Christ claims you for his own. 
receive the sign of the cross. Live as a disciple of Christ, fight the good fight, finish the race, keep the faith, confess Christ crucified, proclaim his resurrection, look for his coming in glory. God has called you into his church. We therefore receive and welcome you as a member with us of the body of Christ, as a child of the one heavenly Father, and as an inheritor of the kingdom of God. We're seated for our prayers. Let us pray. O God, without you, we are not able to please you. Mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful God, in your infinite love, you have made a new covenant with us in your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, promising to be our God and the God of our children. Enable all who are baptised in your name to live as a covenant people. Fulfil your promises for this child, we pray, and grant that he may grow in your faith and service until his life's end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, bless the home of this child and give such grace and wisdom to all who have the care of him, that by their word and good example they may teach him to know and love you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, we who have been brought from death to life dedicate ourselves to you. Produce in us the fruit of your Spirit. Equip us to serve your people and advance your gospel in the world. Enable us to live in holiness and righteousness and to please you in all we do. In the name of Jesus, our Saviour. Amen. And we join in the prayer that Jesus taught as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Next Sunday, uh, Sunday School begins at 10 o'clock in the hall. Uh, forms are available in the porch and also uh, on our Facebook page to register in advance if possible uh, so that we can have the hall ready for family bubbles. Uh, next Sunday, our services of worship are at 11 and 6.30 as usual. Uh, confirmation group began tonight in the hall at five o'clock and will run each week until confirmation service on the 23rd of November. The GFS are holding their registration night this Tuesday night at seven o'clock in advance of their first night uh, on Tuesday the 2nd of November. Uh, forms are available in the porch and also on our Facebook page. Uh, BB Company section begins this Thursday at 7.30 and uh, Anchor Boys and Juniors on Friday night at 6.30. After this service, please uh, take your orders of service home with you to uh, either um, keep or recycle as appropriate. Um, please don't leave them uh, in the pew. And we're going to sing our closing song, uh, God Sent His Son, They Called Him Jesus. <laughs>
the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, establish, strengthen, and settle you in the faith, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.